Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, Windows 11 24H2 has received the latest optional bug fix C release update for March 2025 that rolled out late yesterday in my region on the 27th of March. And for this month, our C release update is KB5053656, which is more or less the same update I posted on a couple of days ago when it was still in preview and has now made its way into the stable release. Now, there's quite a lot going on with this latest optional update. And with this update, we get 11 new features, most of which are only rolling out for Copilot Plus PCs. So it does indicate where Microsoft's focus is, is moving to. The new features are all rolling out gradually. So you may see them, you may not. Most of the new features I actually haven't received yet in my region because they are rolling out gradually, so just keep that in mind. And before we have a look at the new features, as I always say on the channel, only install these optional updates that roll out near the end of the month if you are experiencing issues with your PC because they do include important bug fixes, else just ignore the update. Now the first new feature, as mentioned, is for a Copilot Plus PC where Microsoft says now that finding documents, photos and settings across Windows 11 is now easier on those Copilot Plus PCs with improved Windows Search, which they say is powered by semantic indexing models along with traditional texical indexing. With Microsoft saying whether it's searching in File Explorer, in the Windows Search on your taskbar, or in Settings, you just type what's on your mind to find it on your Copilot Plus PC and you no longer need to remember file names, exact words in file content or settings names and so on. And they say that these improvements work even when you are not connected to the internet. And just take note though that this feature is available on Snapdragon powered Copilot Plus PCs with support for AMD and Intel powered Copilot Plus PCs coming soon. So just take note of that. The next a new feature is once again for Copilot Plus PCs where Microsoft says locating your photos stored and saved in the cloud is getting simpler and you can use your own words in the search box at the upper right corner of File Explorer. In addition to photos stored locally on your Copilot Plus PC, photos from the cloud will now show up in the search results together and once again they say support for AMD and Intel powered Copilot Plus PCs is coming soon. And then the next new feature is the gamepad keyboard layout, which is now available for the touch keyboard on Windows 11. And Microsoft pulled this a while back and now it's made its way back into the stable release after a bit of testing. And this includes button accelerators. So as an example, X button for backspace, Y button for spacebar. And additionally, the keyboard keys have been vertically aligned to improve controller navigation patterns according to Microsoft. And then Microsoft has also mentioned that they are rolling out a new system tray icon, which I haven't received yet. As mentioned, these features are rolling out gradually on the taskbar. And this is for the emoji and more panel, which you can currently get to by Windows and your stop key. So if you are in a region where you get that little emoji button, you'll be able to activate this. You will be able to activate it right from your system tray. But Microsoft does say that the change will initially be available to a small group of devices, as I did mention. And then there are two fixes that are quite important. And it's for ctfmon.exe, which is quite an important process for Windows. Where the first fix is they improved its reliability by addressing a system restart, which could impact typing. And then the second fix for ctfmon.exe is that it might restart when copying data from certain apps. So those are two important fixes. And then the next new feature, once again, no surprises, is for Copilot Plus PCs, where Microsoft says if we just head into, so if we just head into our accessibility page and we scroll down to captions. So if you are using live captions on your Copilot Plus PC, 
Live captions support translating more than 44 languages into English, including speakers in real-time video calls, recordings, and streamed content. And once again, the next new feature is for Copilot Plus PCs, where Microsoft says that on Snapdragon PCs, powered PCs, it's bringing the ability to do real-time translation to Chinese simplified. So quite a lot going on with live captions. And then if we head into voice access, which is also an accessibility feature. There's a new feature where Microsoft says natural language commanding in voice access provides you with the flexibility to speak commands naturally using filter words and synonyms rather than rigid predefined commands available once again initially on Snapdragon powered Copilot Plus PCs. And they are also introducing Chinese support for voice access. So, And then the next new feature is for those of you who found yourselves in the European Economic Area, EEA, where Microsoft says support for lock screen widgets, previously referred to as weather and more, arrives on devices in the EEA. And guess what? The next new feature is once again for Copilot Plus PCs, where an icon will appear in the system tray when you use an app that supports Windows Studio effects. And then we get another important fix for the boot menu, where Microsoft mentions that if an update stops responding and rolls back, it might result in an unnecessary and non-functional boot menu entry. They say this fix stops devices from encountering this issue in the future. So that's quite an important fix. And then if we head back into our settings, and this time we head to System, Display, and color profile. There's a fix, Microsoft says that for the color management, it might not display the expected color profile list for the selected monitor. And there's also another color profile fix where the color profile settings um, might not be applied after resuming from sleep. So that's also quite an important fix. And yeah, we have the big controversial um, fix that's rolling out, which I'm sure a lot of you are going to ask me in the comments regarding the File Explorer See More menu. And guess what Microsoft says? In some cases, the See More menu in the File Explorer command bar opens in the wrong direction and they have rolled out a fix. But guess what? I still haven't received the fix. Not working in my region. It still opens up the wrong way. And if I minimize so I have seen one or two comments already and um, for some of you who, who have already received this update in other regions who say it is fixed, but no joy for me. So maybe one day Microsoft will roll that out into my region. So there is a fix for that see more menu according to Microsoft in the file explorer, opening up in the wrong direction. And there's another important fix uh, where an underlying issue might lead to your PC experiencing a bug check, which is a blue screen when resuming from sleep. So that's an important fix. And there's also a fix for a known issue. The description of the virtual NRC doesn't display correctly in network connections where it was showing those invalid characters. And then there's another fix where the screen might unexpectedly change orientation coming out of sleep on two-in-one devices. And then if you are in the EEA, once again, Microsoft says that in the European Economic Area, Windows Search has been updated with improved support for web search providers. And if you are in the EEA, the Microsoft Bing Apps web search provider in Windows Search now opens search results with the default browser. So that might be a nice move in the right direction. And if we head back into our settings and we head to Accounts, there's a fix for Japanese users where the name displaying at the top shows first name, last name instead of last name, first name. So um, that's rolling out obviously for our Japanese users. And then we have two deprecations. The first is suggested actions which appear after you copy a phone number or future date in Windows 11 are now deprecated and being removed. And I'm actually quite glad to see that because I don't think too many people were using that suggested actions. And then heading back this time into our settings, 
privacy and security and heading down to location and location history. Microsoft says the location history feature, an API that Cortana used to access 24 hours of device history when location was enabled, is being removed. With the removal of the location history feature, location data will no longer be saved locally and the corresponding settings are also being removed from this page. But you can see, as mentioned, these new features and fixes are rolling out gradually and that still hasn't been removed in my part of the world. And then we get two fixes rolling out normally. So everybody will get these next two fixes where the update addresses an issue where certain third-party apps might stop responding on the graphics settings page. And the update addresses an issue affecting high dynamic range HDR content playback on Dolby Vision capable displays where users might see regular HDR instead of Dolby Vision missing specific content indicators and that's also quite an important fix where that issue was plaguing a whole lot of different users. Now the task manager also gets a couple of improvements. I'm just going to mention these quickly. The task manager will now calculate CPU usage differently for processes, performance and the user pages. With Microsoft saying it will use standard metrics to display CPU workload consistently across all pages and align with industry standards and third-party tools. And then guys, over and above that, we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fixes that are taking place under the hood, which are rolling out normally. So quite a lot going on in this update. And if you do decide to install the update, because it is optional, if we just head into our About Windows dialog and menu quickly, the OS build for Windows 11 24H2 after the update is being applied is 26,100.3624. So as mentioned, most of the new features are actually rolling out for Copilot plus PCs, which does, as mentioned, give us an indication where Microsoft's focus is. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.